new kitchen seating, and I also need to learn how to weld. So here's a project where I do both. This is my first ever welding project, so bear with me while I learn. I really like the aesthetic of white metal and plywood. So I'm going to plan on using angle steel for this project and then spray painting it to finish it up. The problem with angle steel in this project is that they can't butt up against each other from on a flat top. So I decided to cut a miter on both ends of these pieces that can join nicely. But miters are something I suck at cutting, and wood, steel, or any material really, so they didn't turn out super clean. The nice thing about welding though is that welding can fill in a lot of the gaps uh, left by imprecise miter cuts. So the smart thing to do when you're welding is to tack pieces together before running longer beads with the welder. And basically what tacking a piece together means is you weld a tiny spot and you make sure things are square before moving on and then you go ahead and run a full long joint. That's way you can adjust stuff before it's literally fused together. And as you can maybe tell, I did not do this, <laughs> but that's how you learn. And this is when I realized my big mistake for this project. I was going fast and not really paying attention, and the bottom square was not square at all. <laughs> so to fix this problem, what I actually ended up doing was taking the legs and using a clamp to pull them as close as I could to match the bottom frame and then tuck the legs into the frame versus how they sat on top of the other frame. But once I fixed that big mistake, all I had to do was drill a few holes for the seat to attach to, and then I was ready for painting. Luckily I had a scrap piece of bolted birch line around that was the appropriate size to match the frame. And all I had to do was use the frame as a reference and cut out two pieces and glue those guys together.
the other dumb mistake I made in this project was not grinding the wells down far enough. So when I went to go attach the seat, there's actually a little bit of a gap between the seat and the frame. But I just used a little clamps to squeeze it down tight enough and then screw it in. I also added a few felt pads so it could slide around the floor and not scratch anything. And then I just needed to sand it a little bit and a little bit of touch of paint and then it was good to go. This is a super fun project, and I think I developed a love for welding in the process. Thanks for watching. See ya.